<laughs> okay, so here's baby, kind of wiggling around. Here, do you think the baby wants a Reese cup? <laughs> yeah, watch out, babe. I'm watching the TV. Oh, it's on the TV. It's up there. I'm recording it. Well, I'll sit down next to you and watch yes, it too. There you go. So here's baby's head right here. And then we can see that little heart pumping away right over here. Oh, That's good. Right there, yep. And baby's body comes up this way, little feet kind of cross to the ankles right here. That's cute. Oh, look. Cute little toes. Oh, my gosh. So is he or she bottom down so or head, head down? down right now, yep. Good. That's perfect, yeah. So, yep. Head is... It's not like super low, but it's definitely the lowest. As long as we're not butt down. Structure, yeah. I'm gonna take a picture showing that. And I told Emily that I say he just because I have boys, so that doesn't mean it's a he. I, yeah, I know you yeah, guys don't want to find her. out, so I'm gonna. Well, she doesn't want to find out. <laughs> so that is an immediate so decision. Just, I'm just respecting. <laughs> You're that. just supporting that. That's that's a good partner. That's but we've awesome. used Bartholomew as a placeholder. <laughs> And it freaks, it freaks everyone out because they're like, you're not actually going to name it that, are you? Here's that little heart pumping away. Wow, look at that. We can listen here, get a heart rate. Okay, nice and regular. And we'll see what that rate is. Wow, this is so scientific. It is. Uh, heart rate's at 145 beats per minute. Some people think normal. that that means like the higher heart rates are for boys and lower heart rates are for girls, but it's just a myth. Just an old wives' tale. Yeah. Right. Well, there's lots of wives' tales there for, are tons for of them, telling yeah. how the baby's coming out. It's like, true. Well, <laughs> there's a 50 percent chance That's you're right. right. So true. And this baby's got this. This is an arm kind of right up over the heart. Okay. So I'm trying to get some pictures of the heart, but the baby's like, my arm is right here, and I'm happy with it there, so. Just smush him. He'll exactly, move. Exactly, huh? This is the left side of the heart right here. And we'll look at the right side, too. Okay, I'll zoom in even a little bit closer on that little heart. Okay, right side, right there. Awesome. Very good. Oh, yeah, we'll see if we can get all four chambers without an arm in the way. <laughs> there we go. And all chambers are there all pumping four away. There, doing their thing. Yep. So that That's means good. it has a full heart? It appears yep. to be the case. Four chambers. Pump awesome. it right along. I just hope it's blood pressure's not mine. Oh, yeah. He's got bad blood Do pressure. Yeah, high. Yeah, it's high. Yeah. Hers is perfect, though. She's like, I'm feeling kind of anxious, and it's like 118. <laughs> Look at how cute the baby <laughs> that is. That cute little face. Baby's mouth's open a little bit, kind of. Oh, no. Oh, that was oh. like a little yawn. Oh, yeah, was God, he like baby. yawning with his hand, hand in front, right too? In front, yep. Wow. That's so cute. <laughs> Look how cute that baby is. Oh no. Uh, are you feeling the baby has, yet? Did I ask yeah. you that? Oh nice. Well, I, he looks just like you. <laughs> no, he looks like you. Look at that nose and the mouth. And those tiny ears. Yep. So cute. Yeah, the baby kicks me a lot now. Oh nice. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna come here towards the top of baby's head and get a few pictures. Of the burn. Well, actually, I'm just going to measure first. Sorry, I'm getting off, getting off track. Okay, we'll measure from side to side across the top of the head, and then all the way around the head. It's an eight. Mm -hmm. It's a size eight hat already. <laughs> there you go. That is perfect. And then we'll measure around baby's abdomen and then the femur. So the abdomen, we can get a measurement right, oh, we could get a measurement for a second, but then baby turned on me. Where are you going, little one? You feel something. Yeah, there's definitely some 
A little bit of squirming going on. It's like, where are you trying to go, kid? There's nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah. She says when I get home from work, he starts moving a bunch. Oh, really? He's he like, I'll start fun. yelling about my day or whatever. Oh, and baby's like, that's my dad. And so the baby, I wake the baby up. That's he, funny. He talks very loud and passionately. Yes. <laughs> okay, all the way around baby's belly. Right through here. Very good. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to measure the femur. So if you don't want to look, this might be a time that you would potentially see gender. But if you want to look, yeah, you you can decide. I'll just let you know. Do you... <laughs> I'm going to look, but I don't think I'll be able to tell. Okay. Yeah, baby's legs are close together. So that, that helps your cause. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sure when I post this video in the Facebook Anywhere. album, yeah. <laughs> everyone's going to be like, oh my God, it's a boy. Oh my God, it's a girl. Baby weighs about 13 ounces today. And I'm getting the 29th as your due date, um, but as long as we're within a week, they don't officially change it usually, so mm -hmm. they'll probably keep you at your same due date. Okay. But the midwife will talk to you about that at your next appointment. Or are you seeing her today? Um, or I don't know. Okay. I had them last week, but this oh, was yeah, just supposed right. to be my anatomy scan. Okay, so you probably, yeah, won't see them. Anymore. I heard that ultrasounds are 15% like inaccurate uh -huh. one way or the other with the weight. Yes. Like the measurements definitely. are accurate. Mm -hmm. So I'm not too worried to hear oh, you say yeah. that. Yeah, it's it's pretty rare that we measure like right on, you know, at this point. So because it's all based on like. Well, because the, the baby could be more and... dense, more or less dense uh -huh. than what the. If it's my kid, it's dense. <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll have a big head. OK, baby's just showing off this little spine now. So we'll look at the baby's neck. Moving up into the chest area. Come all the way up along here. Awesome. That looks so good. And then all the way up here to baby's little tailbone, that lumbar spine. Trying to just so see. his butt is like up here where your mm -hmm. wand is. Yep. Okay. And then the feet and face are over there. Yeah. Yep. So baby's curled up with those feet tucked back up towards the face. I kind of had a feeling because I've been feeling like a lump and I'm like that's either his head oh, or his really? butt. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Yep, that's a booty right there. Okay, and then I'm going to look at the spine and cross section. So this is spine right here. These three little white dots right there, they're teeny teeny. Mm -hmm. All along here we'll follow it all the way up towards baby's chest. And then into the neck. Very good. Perfect. I don't know what I'm looking at, but you're not, yeah. <laughs> you're not saying anything negative. So. No, so far so good. Okay, this is baby's face kind of looking right at us. It's a little bit skeletal. Oh, looking. yeah, there it is. The so little eyes. <laughs> Tip of the nose. From this view, I can tell there's no cleft lip or anything like that. That little upper lip looks all intact. Very good. You can oh, yeah, I see. see it looks like a regular nose. lips. Yeah. Look at the cute little nose. Oh, so my God. So cute. Huh? And that little chin peeking through right there. Babe, that's that looks so like cute. your lips and your nose. So, so cute. What? You can't tell. How can you say that? I think women are better at looking at ultrasounds than men. Oh, oh that's definitely his head. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> what a cutie. Oh, my goodness. So sweet. So, so sweet. Okay. This baby's being a little more cooperative than the others I've taken pictures of today. That's awesome. That's good. Yeah, so I'm going to come down here towards the head. Now we'll look at some of these brain structures. Oh, we can see his brain? Yes. Yeah, so on either side here, these two little brighter white areas, those are the ventricles of the brain. Okay, that's good so to have those. Here. Yeah, those are important. And we get a measurement here. Um, we want to make sure that there isn't like extra fluid collecting or anything like that. It doesn't appear to be the case. Okay. But we'll measure here just to make sure. And yeah, that looks totally normal. That looks great. And then we'll look at a couple of other structures here. We've got the thalamus is 
kind of right here towards the middle part of the brain. It's this little structure here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll look at an area at the front of the brain called the cavum. Cavum. So right, that's this area here. That's a new word for me. Yes. Cavum septum pellucidum is what it's called, but we kind of... So that Shorten it's in it. the middle. <laughs> in the middle. Yep. That's actually the part of the brain where the right and left sides communicate with each other. Okay. So it's an important part. But... Yeah, you need that. Yes. And then right in here is the cerebellum, the back part of the brain. It's the structure. Oh, yeah, kind yeah. It looks like a peanut right yeah. there. That's your lizard brain, right? There you go. Like yeah. your survival brain? Exactly. So, yeah, we'll measure that here. It looks good. Very good. Did you, were you able to see what, like, what side the placenta is at on? Um, yeah, so it's posterior, um, so Which the is back the side. back, okay. Yeah, and we'll take lots of pictures of it. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we will look at that. Oh, there's that cute face again. You are just so photogenic, little one. I love it. So he is, his so back cute. is on my back, right? Um, so, so he's facing forward? actually kind of along the the side on this side oh he's sideways so i'm just like coming over this way to get that angle oh, okay that makes sense. yeah yeah okay that was so cute i love that baby so sweet okay i'm gonna try to get a heart view this is the aortic arch of the heart actually i can see it right there that is perfect good work baby you can see that little arch coming off the top cool Going down the body, that looks great. That's the that's an artery or a vein. Um, an artery, yep. Yep, the big artery that leaves the heart and carries the blood to the rest of baby's body. You can even see these little branches that go up to the head and neck mm -hmm. coming off there. That looks really good. Okay, and then we'll see if we can get baby to kind of roll onto the back again, or maybe maybe not. We'll we'll look at something else for now. Okay, right in here, oh, maybe, <laughs> come back little one, this is baby's stomach, the angle I'm at is just a little hard to see, but right here, that little dark circle is the stomach, Okay. and then I'm going to take a picture showing, um, take a picture showing that the heart and stomach are both on the left side of baby's body, which is desirable, yes, that's <laughs> what we want, that's right, so there's that little stomach right there, Wait, is that not always the case? There is a disorder yeah. where your stuff could be on the right, all reversed. Yes. Everything's reversed. Yes. yes. Like, don't your intestines don't mm -hmm. your intestines go the other way too? Like, the yeah. stomach would exit on the other side. Yeah. So there are different. Um, so that cause complications, or would just make it weird for doctors' appointments? Yeah. So if everything truly is reversed, it's really not a problem. Um, but sometimes only some of the things are reversed so oh. it's like yeah like if if the heart isn't on the correct side but then the stomach is then the, the vasculature is going to be weird and yeah so and it can cause all sorts of problems but your baby's stuff is where it's supposed to be so we'll take that so far it looks super typical yes well good and, job baby and extra cute you're growing the best so one. Cute. Yeah, I was worried that um, like in the early trimester, I wasn't eating enough food, and I was oh, like, yeah. oh my god, he's gonna get Were neural you sick tube. Or yeah, I thought he was gonna have like defects because uh -huh. I wasn't getting enough vitamins. Oh shoot! But well, so far everything's looking great. So good. Right in here are baby's kidneys, and these are kind of hard to see, but um, there's this little area right here. It almost looks like speckled mm -hmm. <laughs> and then another one on the other side but yeah like I said they're hard to see so if you don't feel like you can spot those don't feel too bad there I've heard that sometimes those things. are engorged or inflamed yes. and sometimes, then they get smaller sometimes they have extra fluid in them too. yeah um but th these babies look or this baby's kidneys look perfect and this right here this color shows blood flow Cool. And this is the that aorta that we looked at earlier where it yeah. arched off the heart. So this is where it comes down. Mm -hmm. And then these arteries, one goes to each kidney. So we can kind of prove that the two kidneys are there because they're both... They're both getting a signal getting, yep, flow. Exactly, getting the, the blood. 
Cool. Okay, and then down a little further is baby's bladder, that dark structure right there in the middle. When we see that, we know that at least one of those kidneys is functioning. Um, where the oh yeah, because kidneys... they're swallowing um, amniotic fluid and peeing it out and stuff, right? Exactly, yeah. So if the circle was smaller, then it would tell you there's no fluid there's no in the fluid. bladder? Yep, or okay. if we can't see it at all. Yeah, sometimes that happens too. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to turn on the color again. This shows right where the cord connects to baby's abdomen. And you can see the blood flowing through right there. That looks really good too. So the baby's getting the flow through the cord that we need to see. So that's awesome. Nice. And I'm laying on my back too. And I was, yeah. I've been worried about that. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay, we'll take a look at arms and legs. So we've got the left arm. Oh, look, right I'm all bundled up. Here, there's the humerus. So shoulder to elbow. And then the little forearm kind of comes up across the in front of the face, little hand oh, all curled up. That's look, he's going cute. like this. So cute. And we'll do the same thing with the right arm. Right there's the humerus. Looks good. And then the lower part of the arm. The baby's kind of got it underneath the belly, just sort of. I feel him moving though. Uh huh. <laughs> And then that little hand you can see too. That's oh, cool. yeah. And we'll do the same thing with legs. We'll take a look at those legs. So, warning, we're going in that area again, but. <laughs> yeah, might see PP. Might see a PP by accident. So, there's the left femur. Look at his little butt. So cute. And then lower leg right here, you can see the two little bones of that. The lower leg, you can almost see both legs at once, but yeah, I'll just look at one at a time here. And then the femur, or excuse me, the foot. We already got the femur. There's oh both my feet. Gosh. That's so cute. Look at them together. So so cute. Oh, oh my God, those toes, huh, baby? He's coming to kick me. Yep. There's the left foot, and then y'all will just look at the right foot right there next to it. Oh, and you've already moved. Oh no, you haven't. I'm like, you already moved them, but. <laughs> So, so cute. <laughs> so this is left and this is right. Very cute. Oh. You feeling things? <laughs> yeah, he's like going down deeper. I feel like pressure on my cervix. Oh. There's the right femur right there. Oops. My fingers are going faster than my brain. And then his right tibia, fibula, the lower leg right here. Awesome. Is that a hand? And that is a hand, yep, yeah, kind of hanging down there. You can see cute fingers right there. Yeah. No. <laughs> so cute. Kind of down by his knees. See, babe, you're learning how to read so the ultrasounds cute. too. You are. Well, I mean, I didn't see the hand. <laughs> so, so cute. Okay. I wouldn't be able to make out those kidneys, so. Yeah, the kidneys are tough. <laughs> okay. So now we'll take a look at that placenta. So it is along this back side of your uterus right here. Oh, that's it? Yep, that's all placenta. We'll take a few pictures of that. It's like as long as, as the baby's body. Yeah, so the placenta won't really get much bigger. Um, mm -hmm. But the baby obviously will. Oh, okay. So at this stage, the placenta does look big, you know, compared right. to the baby. But um, well, I'm just glad we have a placenta that's not in the way of my cervix. Yes, yeah, so it looks like it's in a good spot. Oh, is that a, a thing that can happen? Yeah, if your placenta is yeah. too low, it might block your cervix. And sometimes your placenta is in the front, which is okay, but you just can't feel the baby which kicking. Oh. This is the cord connecting to the placenta right here. And that looks really good. And baby's moving. We get all that flashing in the background. That's all right. Let's see here. And I'm just going to get one more picture showing where that cord connects. And so far, you haven't seen any weird, um, what are they called? Fri fibroids? Like on my um, uterus? I haven't yet. Have you had a history of those? or? No, but the first time I had an ultrasound, it looked weird. And oh. the lady that was doing my ultrasound was like, 
the first thing she said, she was like, have you ever had cysts before? Oh, really? And I was like, um, no. Oh, uh, you had, like, panic? Yeah, I got <laughs> scared because I thought maybe she saw something that she yeah. didn't want to tell me. Uh, was that with this pregnancy or was that, like, yeah. before you were pregnant? Okay. Yeah, it was, this is my first pregnancy. Okay. It was, I think it was my first ultrasound, but I was probably also just, like, hyper alert. Yeah. It's kind of a nerve-wracking moment to... Mm-hmm. So you get another good look at where that cord connects to placenta there. Very good. Wow, that's up high. That's like all the way. Yeah, it's pretty high, which is actually a good thing because um, there can be other problems too. Like if the cord is, I mean, we don't want the placenta or the cord to be down by your cervix. So. Right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So if the cord comes out of the placenta up higher, it's like less likely that it would be like wrapped around the baby's neck and stuff when it comes exactly, out. Exactly, yeah. Sorry to be pushing there, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, I'm actually looking at the cervix right now. So this is the cervix that kind of comes like right along here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, no placenta anywhere even close to where it is. So that's all good. Perfect. And then I will get a measurement of the cervix. So we measured the length of the cervix. We don't want it to be shortening early or anything like that. Um, that could be a sign of preterm labor. Right, we want it to be like nice and tight. Yeah, nice and long. Now, let me see if I can get just a little bit better angle. It's just a little hard to, a little hard to see how far down it goes. But yeah, right there. So sorry to be pushing there. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Glad you went to the restroom probably, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's nice and long. Good. Like over four centimeters, so that's perfect. Four centimeters long. Yeah. Good. Okay, let me get just a little more gel here, and then we will... More gel. More pictures. Yeah. Do you think the baby likes looking at you? I can't see him. Well, emotionally and mentally, he can see you. <laughs> oh, sorry, splattered. Okay. So we'll take a quick peek off towards the right and left sides of the pelvis. We just take a, a look for like cysts or fibroids, anything like that. Mm. So I see it right over here. It looks normal. Neat. Yeah, it's right. This little area right here is the ovary. Okay. And then we'll look at the left ovary. Over here. I didn't know they went out that far. I guess yeah, when you're pregnant, they kind of... Yeah, exactly. The left over eight also looks normal. Nice. Good work, ovaries. Huh? Yeah, apparently, like, the women in my family on my mom's side have, like, ovarian cysts. Oh, do they? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see any sign of a cyst, so... Do Perfect. That's good. Oh, look, what is he doing? Hands oh. Up there. So cute. He's just hanging out. Cute baby. Yep. That little arm up. Kind of posing. <laughs> I'm going to measure the fluid around baby. So with this, we divide your uterus into four. We measure each little section, and then um, I will, well, my machine will add it all up for us. So we like to see between 8 and 24 centimeters of fluid. Oh, so it's like a total volume type of thing? Yes. Okay. And it is very much a, I mean, it's not an exact thing, you know, at all. Yeah, because he could be, like, laying a certain way that blocks yes, the view. exactly. Okay. But it is kind of, I mean, that's why there's such a wide range for normal. So I'm getting it at, like, 14, so right in the middle of that range, so that's all perfect. That's good. And then let me see here if I can see that spot where the cord connects to baby's belly again here a little bit better. Cause... Oh, yeah, his belly button. Yeah. It's just right there by the I kind of saw it. But right there. You see that? Yeah, I see it. Cord going in right there. That looks really good. Perfect. Okay, right there's another good look. Awesome. That looks great. Very good. Okay. Very good. And cute little feet again. <laughs> so right through here's 
So heart is here, stomach is here, and then this little dark line that goes between yeah. the two is the diaphragm. So that separates the chest from the abdomen. And it's good that we have that. Good, yep. We want to see that for sure. It looks really good. Okay. So I actually think we've seen everything that we need. Yep. Let me zoom in. There's one other heart view up here I can see. It's just oh, like top, top down. Uh-huh. Just trying to get the angle just right, right there. Very good. So he's like head down. Head down. Yep. What's the likelihood of him flipping up? Um, I mean, at this point, he pro he may change position even multiple times a day still because he oh. has enough room in there. Oh yeah, he's still tiny. Um, but I mean, usually, usually they will end up head down, you know, again. So yeah. Especially if they are head down, it's almost like baby's learning like this is a good position to be in you know so mm -hmm. I'm gonna kind of favor this position but yeah, yeah I've just been reading that after 20 weeks there they that's when they can go head down uh -huh. and like they can stay there yes. or wiggle or move and yeah I mean baby might stay but but yeah they there's still enough room for sure to to really flip flop around and change position so well, I think we got it all. Um, do you guys have questions about anything? Or is there anything else you want to look at? No. Oh, little yawn. So oh. Cute. Did you just wear yourself out performing for us? Huh? That wow. Was so do you see him practicing how to yawn? Let me rewind my little thing and we can take a picture of Look that at yawn. how big like his <laughs> so mouth cute. and nose sticks out from his head. So cute. Precious, precious, precious. I feel like he's got a big face. It looks like your face. Like his nose and mouth comes out further. Like my face is more flat. And I feel like he's... Do you know what I'm saying? And look at those tiny little ears. Those are your tiny so ears. So cute. <laughs>